What's up guys, Biggie361 here, back in with another video. Today I have a, at least as far as I know, brand new retail product for this year. Well, they've made it in past years, but I mean, it just released for this year's edition. So 2021-22 Panini Contenders Basketball. This is the blaster box here. I got it from my local Walmart. It cost $27.48, so I'll just call it $28, really closer to 30 after tax. But we do get eight cards per pack with five cards, with five packs per box, excuse me. So we do have 40 cards in here for about $30, but it's pretty cool. You do get one autograph or memorabilia card per box on average. More than likely, it's gonna be that memorabilia card. But contenders autographs are one of the more sought after autographs. That's pretty cool. Pretty high ceiling there. Retail exclusive rookie season ticket stickers. Interesting. And then also ultra rare rookie season ticket stub stickers. So not sure what the difference is there. I guess one's a stub, one's not. Let me get this plastic off so we can look at all the stuff we can pull. So I'm assuming it's gonna be a bunch of different ticket parallels. So yeah, there's a look at everything. I'm not gonna read through everything, but Contenders, kind of a dry retail product. But like I mentioned, the ceiling is pretty high because contender autographs are pretty sought after. So we're looking as the for the usual top guys here. Man, the camera's having a hard time focusing. But Cade, Suggs, Barnes, Jalen Green, Josh Giddy, Evan Mobley. You know all those guys. So just five packs here. And it does look like we're gonna have a memorabilia card in this pack, so I'll save that one for last. But let's get into the first pack here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, guys. Be greatly appreciated. So here's a look at the base design, same as the hobby version. Um, not really a big fan, but contenders, that's usually how their base cards look. But this year, it does have a little bit more color, so that's nice. Carmelo Anthony, CJ McCollum, Isaac Okoro, Dennis Schroeder, Miles Turner. And then we have a game ticket. Porzingis, red, and then a Trey Mann 2021 draft class. So I'm pretty sure it's just called a red. Nothing too special there. So yeah, red, bronze, slash anniversary edition. So those are the three more common parallels you can pull. The red one being the most common. At least that's how it looks on the odds. And these packs. All right, let's get into the second pack here. Have Buddy Hield, Stephen Adams, Andrew Wiggins, Kevin Love, Vooch, Capella, Kawhi. That looks like a bronze. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can kind of see in the light there. Kawhi game ticket, and then game night ticket of Giannis. So Kawhi, bronze, not numbered. I'll show you all the back of that red just so you can see it's not numbered. But Kawhi, bronze. Whoops. Hopefully he can get back on the court for the playoffs if the Clippers make a run. All right, third pack here out of five. All right. Kuzma, Porzingis, Pokushevsky. Butler, Van Vliet, Jalen Brown, Rui Hachimura, and then I almost thought that was an autograph for a second. International ticket, Killian Hayes, Lakeland. Not sure. Okay, Lakeland, Florida. I thought that was in Florida, but then it says international ticket. So he was in France. Interesting. Okay, you can read that if you want. Two more packs to go. All right, Norman Powell, Baisley, RJ Barrett, Kyle Lowry, Christian Wood, Chuma Okiki, a season ticket of Blake Griffin,
Yep, just a base card there. And then Bones Highland, 2021 draft class. Actually not a bad rookie there. Watch them play a couple times. All right, final pack here. This is our thick pack. Presumably a memorabilia card. Let's see, Jaron Jackson Jr., Kevin Porter, Wendell Carter Jr. Let's see, Mike Conley, D. Book, Joel Embiid, here comes our memorabilia card, RTS SAL. So rookie ticket swatches, I'm assuming. Let's see, let's go from the front. Grizzlies, Santi Aldama, rookie ticket. And then our card on the back there, France International Tickets, Dominique Wilkins. And then MB base card. So Santi Aldama is our memorability card. Not the rookie we're looking for, but Pac-Man would probably be happy with his Grizzlies there. Man, the camera is not focusing. But down here we see the official, officially licensed material not associated with any specific player, game, or event. So, basically just a napkin, a little piece of white jersey there. Nothing special at all. But, I mean, that's going to be my favorite card from the videos because it is a memorabilia card, even though it's not really memorabilia. It's just a piece of a random jersey. That's kind of contenders retail for you, though. Here's a look at... All of our non-base cards. Inserts, 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 inserts. Parallel, insert, parallel. None of the top, top rookies. The best insert, I'd say is the Bones Highland draft class. But for this blaster, I'd give it a five out of 10 because 2748, pretty pricey, especially considering most of the time you're, you are gonna pull a memorability card and definitely not the rookie we're looking for. No offense to Santi Aldama, but five out of 10. I'll give this blaster box five out of 10. The ceiling is pretty high though, so you can take my rating with a grain of salt, but the odds of pulling an autograph are pretty low, I would assume, just because the print runs are so high. Let me know what you guys think down below though. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video.